Assalamu alaikum. What's up, everyone? So today I want to talk about holidays in Islam and specifically talk about pagan holidays and why we don't celebrate them. So a pagan holiday is things like Halloween, Christmas. We don't celebrate demons, all these different things. And even though it's just fun, we're just eating candy. But there is a reason as to why. So a big reason as to why is that in Islam, it's a monotheistic religion. So we believe in one entity, one creator. A lot of these other pagan holidays have a lot of polytheism involved. And polytheism is when you basically believe in more than one God or more than one entity. And even Halloween, the history behind it is a lot darker and deeper than one might think. But for now, we'll be talking just about what Muslims celebrate and as to why we just don't celebrate pagan holidays. The holiday that Muslims celebrate is Eid al-Fitr is basically the ending of Ramadan. Ramadan is again where you fast for basically around 30 days. It follows the lunar calendar year and it goes back maybe like 11-ish days every year. You fast that month of Ramadan, no food, no water, no swearing, no cursing, no hurting other people's feelings, no backbiting, all these things. It's amplified. There's extra prayers. There's so many different things. And it ends with the Eid al-Fitr. And where it ends with Zakat al-Fitr, you donate, you do the right thing. It's whole experience. And again, even if you're not Muslim or you're learning about Islam, I would really like recommend someone just trying out fasting for one day and seeing like the spiritual benefits behind it. It is awesome. But that's again, one of the holidays again in Islam. Another holiday in Islam is Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Adha basically commemorates Prophet Ibrahim, Abraham, to sacrifice his son in obedience to God, Allah. And in doing so, to show his wor like worship to Allah and obedience, Allah provided a ram instead for sacrifice. So it's showing the level of worship that Abraham was giving to God. And then so, every year, Muslims will do this as well, where they sacrifice an animal for the sake of Allah. And then with that animal, you eat it, you share it with your friends and family, and you donate as well. So it's a sense of commemorating goodness as well, where after you sacrifice that animal, again, halal, you're eating it with your friends, your family, and you're donating part of that animal as well. Which again, is such a positive thing that we celebrate. And those are the two main holidays that Muslims celebrate. In Islam, there is like a Lunar New Year, but we don't really celebrate it like that. And it's not like a promoted holiday that you really celebrate, but we know that it exists. Another one is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's birthday. But again, no one really celebrates like that and you don't really celebrate the Prophet's birthday. And again, in Islam, we also don't really believe that we should celebrate birthdays with candles and stuff. You can obviously be like extra special or give someone a gift on their birthday. Oh, you're a year older, congrats. But again, there's not the sense of the ritualistic tactics of putting candles on a cake, for example. So those are two holidays that sort of exist in the culture more, but not religiously. The main two are the ones we talked about in the earlier video are the Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr. And those are the two main religious holidays that Muslims celebrate. So again, a Muslim can live in an environment and talk to people who celebrate pagan holidays. That's not the issue. But again, Muslims tend to refrain from celebrating it. But if someone says, oh, Merry Christmas, I'm just, you know, happy holidays, enjoy your time with your family. Again, there's a sense of respect and values that you still, you don't have to be a crass person and be like, oh, don't even come to me with that kind of stuff. No, you could be a human being, it's normal. So again, thank you guys again for tuning in to another episode. Every Friday, I'll be dropping more Muslim content like this and talking about different things about Islam that I've learned, different halakhas, different situations. And if there's anything new that you learned, please feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you're a Muslim and you've kind of experienced some of these things, let me know what you think as well. And if you have any input, please leave it in the comments. Be sure to like, follow, share, subscribe, because again, helps with the YouTube algorithm. I really do appreciate you guys supporting. And I'll see you guys next Friday. See you later.